Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. We've done a lot of videos lately showing you general maintenance as well as a few upgrades to our 1968 Mustang Coupe. Now that we're driving this car a little bit more, one area that's really starting to bug us is the factory speedometer, particularly the speedometer cable. Our speedometer has a dreaded bounce. Basically what's happening is anywhere between 0 and 40 miles an hour, the speedometer is bouncing all over the place and it's anybody's guess how fast we're actually going. The bouncing speedometer is a telltale sign of a bad speedometer cable, so today we're going to replace the cable in our 68 using this Concourse Correct cable from Scott Drake. This Concourse Correct speedometer cable from Scott Drake features the correct style firewall seal along with a correct bracket at the transmission side itself. This is going to fit all 67s with automatics or 3 speed manuals and all 68s with automatics with the exception of cars with factory 391 or 430 gears. For this installation you'll need a lift or a jack and jack stands, quarter inch ratchet, 3 8 socket, 7 16 socket, 3 8 wrench, Phillips head screwdriver, right angle Phillips head screwdriver, and a small flathead. We're going to begin the installation under the car by disconnecting the cable itself from the transmission, then removing the bracket from the support. So unbolt the cable from the cross member. Pull the cable out of the transmission. And ours is actually broken. Now we're going to remove the cluster so we can access the other end of the speedometer cable. There is kind of a trick to this. If you have a non-AC car, you can remove the heater controls and you can actually get your hand up in there sometimes and get the cable off that way. It's kind of hard to do with an air conditioning car like R68 here. Plus we want to pull the cluster so you get a better view of what we're actually doing. The five main screws out, there's two other things holding it in. First thing we're gonna do is get the nut off on this side, get to remove the ashtray to get to it. Another pair is threaded onto plastic studs, which should only be hand tight, but you gotta get it off with your fingers. In our case, our car was put together years ago. It has all the wrong hardware on the cluster, so if you do what we're doing, want to replace the hardware, we do have it available here at CJ Pony Parts as well. To get the other side of the cluster off, we now have to remove the AC controls. Two screws up top here and two underneath. Now we can carefully pull the cluster out. Or if I'm putting a small towel or something over the column so you don't scratch the paint. We're gonna reach behind and unthread the cable from the speedometer. If you have to, you can go underneath in the engine bay and push it through, give yourself a little more room to get to it. Now we're going to fish the original cable out through the firewall. If you have someone to help you, this makes it a lot easier. They can pull on the cable while you push it and feed it through. Now we're going to install our new speedometer cable by fishing it through the hole we just removed the original one from. Now we're back inside the car, we're going to reinstall the cluster. In this case, because we have the cable further threaded in though, we can install the cable first.
Now we're going to install the correct style nut on the back of the cluster over here in the center. You want to check your original speedometer cable. Make sure there's no wear on, it's not torn up or anything before you transfer it over. In our case, ours is fine. You're simply going to remove this clip here. And remove the gear. Now install the gear onto our new cable. And then clip on the retainer. Okay, now we'll fish the cable back up to this location and put it into our transmission. Now you do want to make sure it is fitting flush. If it's sticking out too far, just pull it out and turn the gear to slightly and push it back in. And reinstall the retainer. And the last step, we're going to reinstall the original clip onto our cross member. And your installation is finished. If your speedometer cable is bad, it's a part you probably want to replace sooner than later. If you happen to get pulled over for driving too fast, telling the officer your speedometer wasn't working is probably not going to get you out of a ticket. The installation is a little bit time consuming because of working under the dashboard, but overall it will take you around two hours to be back on the road in no time.